But literally, people will buy them and be like me and like don't even use it and just use digital products. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, it's Ashley here, and if you are new, hey girl, hey! So today's video is sponsored by Cricut, and I am going to be sharing how to make money using a Cricut machine. So guys, literally there's so many different ways that you can make money using a Cricut. Um, I've put this down to like five different categories, and I'm going to talk about a few things in each category because if I talked about everything that you could make on a Cricut, this video would be like hours long, and we ain't trying to do that. So this video is definitely for you if you are a first time Cricut user, or if you're someone that is looking to start a side hustle that can potentially turn into something more, or if you're someone that just needs some additional income each month, I'm going to share some ideas today that you're definitely going to like. So let's go ahead and start with category number one. So we're going to start with the first category which is my favorite and that is home decor which is what I mostly do with my Cricut but I created like a list of things y'all that we're gonna we're gonna go through okay so home decor i.e. my favorite which is creating signs so you can make so many signs using a Cricut and they would be the perfect thing to sell because people love signs and they're super easy to make and I have to say one of my favorite things to do now is use the veneer and cut out words and sayings using that and place them on like wood uh wood signs that I make or pre-made signs and stuff like that and it looks so good I love it um also the leather uh the genuine leather I've cut that out too and I made a sign and it was so cute so that is something that you can do make it make it and sell it so another thing you can do is make doormats so a lot of people make doormats and they're really really cute because people love doormats and it's really really nice when you can personalize them which we'll talk about a little bit later in this video but that is something else that you can create with your Cricut and sell Okay, so moving along, and the next one is pillows. So you can create pillows using a Cricut machine. Now this is something I haven't done and I definitely need to do it, but you can create some really, really cute pillows to sell um, with your machines and using a uh, heat press and you're good to go. You can make some really, really, really cute pillows, okay? So the next one is quilts and blankets. Oh yes, you can make quilts and blankets. Again, you can personalize these things. You can do sayings, you can do patterns, you can actually cut out like the quilts and put the quilt together. Like it's just amazing, the stuff that you can do with the Cricut, I'm serious. So that is also another thing that you can do using a Cricut machine. Another thing you can do is create wall art. So, so fun, create the wall art. You can get your Cricut machine to draw it out for you and you can frame these things up and you can sell them. So the last thing I'm gonna share with you guys is table decor. So you can make some really, really cute table decor with your Cricut machine. You can use the removable vinyl, the permanent vinyl, the infusible ink, like it's just, Oh, it's so much that you could do and you can sell these things and of course people will buy them so next category is accessories so accessories honestly I have not done accessories yet using my Cricut machine but I really do want to try out making earrings uh, so there we go jewelry is one so making bracelets making necklaces making earrings you can make all of those things with a Cricut machine and you can sell them uh, you can make handbags so you can literally make a handbag like a clutch or if you want to make like the detailings and add it to handbags you can do that and sell those another thing that you could do is create keychains so you can make keychains and sell those as well and lastly you can do headbands now again there's way more accessories that you can create but these are these are some that you can do that are pretty easy to kind of make and sell so let's go ahead and move to the next category for the next category it's going to be party decor so party decor is the way to go okay because everyone is always having a party whether that is a baby shower a bridal shower a wedding a um what what else birthday party retirement reunion something it's gonna be a party okay and you can make some moolah 
making party decor. So you can create banners. So I have made a banner, but my banner was not for a party, but I did make a banner to go on my fireplace and I literally just took my machine, cut out some letters, and then I placed those letters onto the banner that I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure I got it from Target. And it was really, really cute on my mantle. So you can definitely make banners for people. Um, and personalize them as well for parties. You can also create toppers, so toppers that can go on cakes and cupcakes. You can do invitations, so you can create the like invitation set and you can sell those. You can also do like table cards and things like that to create and sell to people. And you can also, lastly, that I'm gonna share are props. So props for like photo booths and things like that. You can create those and sell them too. So this next category is one of my favorites and that is creating gifts. So, I mean, you gotta buy a gift. If you're gonna go to a party, which you can make cha-ching money with that, you're gonna need a gift, which you can make cha-ching money with this as well. So uh, some ideas for giftings is making tumblers and mugs. Again, personalizing these things. Um, you can create patterns, just make cool designs and stuff like that and sell these and people will buy them. So the next thing that you can create for a gift is actually making like DIY gift sets. So I've done this before and I created like a candle uh, making DIY and then I also did like a potpourri kind of like DIY thing and I made the tags for them and then I made like this instruction card and I put it in there, I did it all on my Cricut and this wasn't even really cutting anything out except for like cutting the label out and everything but it literally like drew everything on there for me and that's gonna save you time when you're doing stuff like this and it's really really cute and especially I love to do like things like that using craft paper so that is something that you can do as well as you can just come up with like gift sets and create those using your Cricut so another thing you can do is create journals so journals people love journals or like planners you can buy the planners and kind of personalize them make them look cute and sell those people will buy them Everyone needs a good planner, okay? And I love, I literally pick out planners all the time, y'all. And I only pick them out because they're cute and then like I never really use them because I always put my stuff like on my iPad. But literally, people will buy them and be like me and like don't even use it and just use digital products. <laughs> and the last one that I'm gonna share, which is a no-brainer, which is shirts. So you can make shirts and again, you can personalize them. You can just make shirts and there can be shirts that people gift to other people. So like let's say if there's like a bachelorette party or something, something like that and they just want to get their girls like some cute shirts you can make sets of those and you can sell them so those are some that I'm just sharing but there are so many different gifting ideas that you guys can do and you can sell them to make money so the last category is other things <laughs> so it's literally just like a brain dump of stuff of things that you can do and create to make some money with your Cricut. So the first way that I'm gonna talk about is not, really doesn't it have to do with your Cricut machine, but it's just making like SVG files for people and you can sell those and people need those all the time, especially someone who's not really maybe good at graphic design or like hand lettering and things like that. You can create SVGs and you can sell them so that they can use them for um, with their Cricut machine. Another thing you could do is create labels and tags. So like I said, I created tags for those gifts that I made, like the gifting DIY packs you can make those labels if you need to make labels for your pantry you can create really cute labels for that uh, bathroom just like organizational type things you can definitely create labels for those using a Cricut and you can sell those and people will buy them so the next thing is cards so you can create cards um, really cute fun cards cards that are like are drawn on cut out cards when you use like a Cricut Joy that's like a really nice small little compact thing that you can use to like pump out these cards and you can sell those and make some money another big thing is iron-ons so you can create iron-ons and you can sell them and people will buy them because they're so easy to do and you can make really cute ones and people buy them and they put them on shirts on like little canvas bags um, 
anywhere like the, you just make the iron on and whatever you can iron on pillows and things like that blankets and people can put them on there and iron them on their, their themselves so you can create stickers for people so stickers for like maybe scrapbooking maybe people who like to have planners just journals in general and they like to add stickers and stuff you can create stickers for people and sell those for money and lastly one of my favorites is stencils so you can create stencils with your Cricut as well and you can use them on like furniture you can use them to make signs and things like that and these are things that you can then sell if you don't want to do it that way you can just create stencils in general and sell them and you know people buy your stencils if you have really good like drawing skills graphic design skills and stuff like that turn them into SVG files print them out and sell your stencils so that's it. That's literally all I have to talk to you guys about. Let's make sure because sometimes I like skip over things. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like there's so much, I didn't even hit the nail on the head on all of the things that you can make with the Cricut because there are so many, so many things that you can create to sell for extra income or to actually make a full blown business out of this. So I really hope that this video gave you some inspiration and some ideas on things that you can do and create with your Cricut machine to make extra money so you won't be like, oh my gosh, should I really get a Cricut? It really is a good investment and you will definitely be able to pay for it. Like once you get it and you start making your crafts, you will be able to pay for that Cricut that you bought. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned some things. I hope you got some ideas if you are new to the Cricut world. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think, what you have made with your Cricut machine, or if you are thinking of buying a Cricut machine. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!